What's up everyone? Allies are beginning to turn on one another as there is nothing else to do as we hit the jury stage and an unexpected veto result has sent the house into shockwaves and is sure to shake up the house over the next few days. Welcome to your live feed update. As we usually do in a veto episode, we will start out by talking about who actually competed in the veto competition. So obviously, we have the HOH, Danny, and the two nominees, Kevin and Tyler. And alongside them to join them to play was Dave Vaughn, Enzo and Ian, with Nicole hosting the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the results of the veto competition. Dave Vaughn has gone and won the week six veto, so congratulations to Dave Vaughn there. And uh, her, whatever her decision is, is definitely going to shake up the house this week because Danny does not want her to use it. Uh, but Kevin would probably expect her to use it. Obviously, Tyler's not going to. But uh, I think everyone expected Tyler to stay should he stay on the block. So it's thrown this week absolute into turmoil and definitely shook things up um, from what they were going to be. So it's definitely got to change the end result of this week. Straight off the bat, you guys, I'm going to ask you to comment if you think Dave Vaughn will use the veto and who will she use it on. There's a few scenarios to throw around, obviously. If she uses it on Tyler, I just don't think that scenario is ever going to happen. But if she does, she's um, she's she's essentially made a good ally there. But it definitely draws the line between uh, Tyler and Davon and Danny, and it's not what Danny wants. And Davon's in good sitting with Danny and Nicole now, so it's probably not the best move for her to make. If she takes Kevin off the block, it's obviously going to again still defy an ally, but Kevin isn't the most solid ally. He sort of flip flops around the house. And uh, if, if Kevin does get taken off the block, it's going to force Danny to put up one of her alliance members, and uh, definitely making the biggest earthquake of the season thus far. And I do believe that is the likely outcome. I do believe that Davon will use the veto. On, uh, on Kevin, and I think Memphis will be put up in placement. Uh, I think Memphis will get very, very annoyed and kick off. Fireworks will happen in the house. And then, um, you know, it, it comes down to the decision of are they going to get rid of Memphis, um, who is who will be aggressive, and as a result, he will. it's best to keep him in the house because he will be a target as a result of being quite aggressive. Not saying he's definitely going to be aggressive, but I think it's likely he'll react in a certain way. And um, you know, if if they, if they keep Tyler in the house, you know, it's a uh, it's it, it's a stupid move because at the same time we all know Tyler is this fantastic game player. So when you have Tyler Christman on the block, you've got to get him out. So there's uh, there's pros both ways, but at the same time, I think uh, if Tyler stays, he's going to come back with a vengeance, and it really does draw the line in the sand. So there's lots to anticipate this week, and it's a very very exciting week ahead of us. It seems as though David's denial of the power is no longer working as Memphis, Enzo and Tyler have discussed that they are quite annoyed with this. Memphis says to Enzo and uh, Tyler that he will likely put up David next week should he win HOH as a result for lying about the power. Enzo said that it's put a bigger target on his back by uh, but by lying about it. Because, I mean, if we really do break things down, yes, it's good to lie at the fact if you can get away with it. But only lie if you know you're 100% going to get away with it. Because um, I think I don't think there's any shame in saving yourself with the power. It's, um, yeah, it puts a target on your back, but you're going to get a target either way. And the, the bigger target's going to come from lying and people realising um, that you are lying. So, do you know what? Um, props to him for giving it a go and, and trying to come up with a plan. But it's unfortunately not worked. And as a result, it's put an even bigger target on his back. So, I think the best course of uh, action would have been to just admit it, uh, admit it in the first place because I don't think there's any shame in wanting to save yourself in the BB house. Cody and Christmas are, have the stone cold decision of the fact that they don't believe Dave Vaughn is going to use the power of veto. Obviously, Danny discussed the idea of Christmas volunteering, volunteering to be put up as a pawn should Tyler come down to the block, but now the boot is on the other foot. Tyler's likely going to stay, and Kevin most likely will come off the block. Uh, so if, Ke if Christmas goes up, it's obviously going to be uh, breaking up those two because them two are tightly working together, and they do have a final two deal. Again, it's just rocking the house this week. No matter who ends up on the block next to Tyler, it's going to be fireworks. David confessed to Kevin and Dave Vaughn that he did indeed use the power on himself. Dave Vaughn said uh, that um, she was very proud of him, which was a nice heart one moment uh, and it's it, you know she hasn't turned on him he hasn't turned on her or anything so that's really really nice to see uh, but David did actually ask Davon if he plans if she plans on using the veto on Kevin uh, and Davon said she wants to know where Danny's heads at first but David brought up a very very valid point saying that uh, if, if Kevin does come down off the block Danny's going to be forced to show her cards more and get more blood in her hands by nominating an ally and when you start to nominate allies whoever you nominate first is obviously at the bottom of the totem pole for you and that's obviously going to shake things up because that person will realize they're on the bottom of the totem pole panic defect from the alliance create sides in the house new sides people will be jumping all over and it just creates chaos uh, so definitely I think the, the right course of option to blow up that side of the house would be for Davon to use the veto uh, it may not bode well um, for um, for her game with Danny but at the same time when Danny has to put up someone else uh, she's going to have a problem with that person more so than Davon so essentially you are blowing up their game slightly deteriorating your relationship with Danny but at the same time you're you you're deteriorating all the relationships over there so it's sort of take them on for the team and uh, it's a better investment in the long game 
Danny and Davon had a long discussion in the HOH room about the use of the veto, with uh, Davon sort of leaning towards saying she's not going to use it, going backwards and forwards with Danny persuading her. Uh, but Danny said she's going to try and tell her not to use it, but she won't hold it against her if she does. I'm sure she will, because this is Big Brother, and any excuse you've got to put some up on the block, uh, you know, if someone does something that annoys you or, or says something that annoys you or even does something as big as using the veto when you didn't want them to. Of course you're going to use that as an excuse to put them up next week or the week. Obviously it won't be the next week unless she wins the uh, back-to-back HOHs with her power. Or if she, uh, you know, anything like that, you'll say now it doesn't matter, but three weeks down the line when you've got nobody else to nominate, that's the sort of perfect thing, uh, perfect excuse to nominate someone with. So it makes total sense, uh, but we'll see how this transpires as the week goes on. Um, I really do think that Davon is leaning towards using the veto. She's not stupid. She realizes realizes that she's not in the majority alliance of the house she realizes she's a plus one to cody nicole and danny so it benefits her game to take someone off the, up take someone off the block and totally blow the house up Tyler mentions to Dave on that if Kevin uh, stays in the block and himself stays in the block by someone by her not using the veto, he said that he doesn't want Kevin to go, but he realizes that if he stays in the block, he is going to be the person to leave the house. But he has told her there's no hard feelings, it's okay. But Dave on did end that conversation, promising Tyler that she will let him know what she is going to do with the veto before the actual ceremony comes, so it's not a surprise to him. Danny told Nicole that Davon is likely going to use the veto, but Nicole said we should get Tyler out if that's the case, you know, because if we don't get Tyler out, it's going to lose complete trust with Davon if they take Kevin out, because then Davon's going to look stranded totally by herself. But Danny did actually come to the conclusion that the only option she has if uh, the veto is used is to put uh, is to put Ian up on the block against Tyler, uh, and that would obviously be a clash of the titans to uh, somebody a winner and somebody who's a strategic mastermind in their season of BB20. Uh, it really will be a, an intense eviction and an intense week where we sort of decide which uh, which side goes with which because we know that Nicole has a tight relationship with Ian but also she's keeping up appearances with Danny and Cody who are sort of working with Tyler but loosely more. I do believe that Tyler would be the one evicted in that scenario but it's scary thinking that Ian could go on the block and do you know what it's uh, there's, there's a lot of scenarios that you could throw around because you know obviously Ian's playing a fantastic game so far and on a personal level that's why I'm saying it's scary because I think uh, Ian's doing really really well because he hasn't made huge moves but you can't really as a winner because you ruffle too many feathers you know, I think uh, I think it's it's very difficult for him. So he's he's evading capture and he's uh, he's doing well. It's not like Doctor Willem McBoogie in All Stars One because Doctor Willem McBoogie had each other's backs. Ian has the backs of other house guests, but I mean he's essentially by himself if we boil it down. He hasn't got Dan on his side. He hasn't got somebody as tight as Mike and Will were. So it's very very different. And uh, for that I, I applaud him. But it seems as though if Kevin is taken off the block uh, by Davon, Ian could end up next to Tyler. Memphis and Christmas were scheming about the fact of Davon using the veto. They were saying it would be ballsy if she was to use it, and they uh, they they're trying to sort of say uh, to Davon the problem would be well the the plan is essentially you know they can promise Davon that Kevin is the plan to stay, and they'll flip last minute. But the problem obviously is getting Davon to not use the veto. Uh, but we know that Davon's likely going to use it, so that plan's sort of going to be out the window. But they're very pl- they're plotting very very much and just essentially trying to do anything that they can to ensure Tyler stays and Kevin goes out the door. Towards the end of the evening, Danny settled on the fact that if Davon does use the veto, Ian will have to go up on the block. But it seems as though Ian and uh, so it seems as though Nicole and Danny are very hell bent on making sure Ian stays and getting Tyler out. Uh, with Nicole actually going to the point of saying this, I'll, I'll put it in the thumbnail. I'll put it on the screen right now. But she said this because she is pretty much done with the fact of going backwards and forwards with Cody. Because Danny also realizes that whenever there's a scenario in which Cody sends something, Tyler always has to be roped in as well. So I think Danny and Nicole think it's a good idea to cut those ties. So Cody's told stranded from Tyler and he's brought in and it becomes a tighter three rather than Cody given uh, relaying information to Tyler so they think it's the best option to get rid of Tyler in order to keep Ian if he actually does end up on the block. Nicole has shown to be a lot more transparent uh, when she went over to Dave Vaughn and pretty much said what she has said to Danny. She said that she will make sure that if the veto is, uh, is, is not used that Kevin will stay and Tyler will be heading out the door. So it seems as though in uh, no matter what these scenarios are, it seems as though Tyler's fate is sealed. Um, although it's, it, there is that potential flip of Memphis and Christmas's uh, idea uh, that they discussed earlier about if the veto does stay the same, uh, they could do the old switcheroo and somehow get uh, Kevin to go out the door and Tyler to stay. But I just think we need to rule that scenario out anywhere because I think Dave Vaughn has pretty much made the point of the fact that where well, she said to Nicole that she has Ian and um, you know if uh, if she wasn't to use the veto then Dave Vaughn will be stranded without Kevin because Kevin isn't going for her they're not exactly a duo but she's got someone there that's on the block that's not trying to get her out so it would be stupid uh, to keep someone in the house who's trying to get you out as opposed to someone who's not trying to get you out so it seems as though Dave Vaughn will use the veto and uh, the Ian is the like- likely plan to go up and Tyler will likely be sent out the door. That is all of your game updates for today folks 
it was a very exciting day in the house uh, with lots and lots of game talk and it seems as though uh, the house has finally been thrown into turmoil with a shock veto result and also when the veto ceremony actually does arrive things are going to be thrown uh, all over the place when it comes to campaigning so I'm, I'm, I'm very 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 much hyped for the week ahead of us of the few days that we have left of this week before someone heads to the jury house for the first time it's going by very very fast but it seems as though the game is actually kicking into second gear now but let me know guys in the comments your thoughts on the veto anything that's happened uh, this week just let me know and who you think is going to be evicted do you think Davon's going to use the veto there's a lot and lots of things to talk about but again guys thank you so 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 much for watching I am incredibly appreciative of the support um, it's really really awesome and I love making these videos uh, so I'll continue to do so and uh, your support is incredible so thanks guys uh, but I will say as I usually do don't forget to like share comment and subscribe but until your next live feed update I've been your host Tom Vasey good night <laughs>